Alright, we're actually going to try this out and see how this works for the first time, as we've never done a live stream before. So, welcome to Texas Gamer Geeks live stream. We're going to see how this works. Today, we're going to unbox Fleet Commander the Kickstarter. Now, if I can get this under the screen. Admiral Pledge, here's what you get. Uh, it's about $208 for the retail. It's a ton of stuff. Uh, the Genesis Core box with a whole bunch of stuff in it. Uh, lots of ships. Apparently this is a remake of an original game I have never played before. Um, I got it because it's space battles and ships and you blow stuff up. How, what's not to love? Uh, it looked great. Um, in that you're also going to get the Salvation Pack, uh, Avatar, and all these stretch goals. And you can check out everything that you had gotten in that Kickstarter on the Kickstarter page. Uh, so, without further ado, optional buys. We also added in the Pirates and the Forge Father, uh, or the sorry, the Forge expansion. So, uh, let's take a look. Okay, so in the Fleet Commander Genesis box, here's what we have. I'm using a new camera I borrowed from my son-in-law, so let's check this out. Um, 48 miniatures, 36 dice, 50 board tiles, and much more. We're going to crack this open. Uh, it looks cool. This is a big box, guys. This is a pretty decent sized box. Uh, on top of that, we're going to check out the Salvation expansion and the Avatar expansion. And then the Kickstarter exclusives. And like I said, we also added in the uh, Pirates and the Forge. And in addition to it, you also got the Fleet Commander Fleet Pack and the Fleet Commander 2 Player Set. Uh, again, you're going to learn about this game as I do as we go through these. So let's just crack it open and see what's coming in some of this stuff. So we will... to meticulously slice off the plastic. And let's get this thing open. Uh, all right, um, the uh, core game tiles a lot of these with room for the expansions one of the Kickstarter goals was to actually open this up and increase the size or to open up the box make the box bigger make the the tray bigger um, so that you could actually store your expansions in the box so right, let's take a look at these tiles get this up a little closer Artwork on these is great. Hopefully you can see that detail on the camera. This is really nice. Uh, asteroids, nebulas, and these are double-sided. So you have space on the back. Uh, so lots of hazards, lots of tiles. And on the back you have space, and they're not all the same. They do vary. Planets in the background. Uh, so let's crack open the other set. I'll drop those there. And let's see what we get in this next packet. Looks like more tiles are the same. So plenty to make a huge board. With the game. Yeah, that looks cool. Let's you zoom in that. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so this also comes with a ton of dice. 36 dice in just the uh, main game alone. Red, green, and blue. This is, there's a ton of dice here. I have a feeling that's way more than necessary, but hey. Everybody gets their own dice, so 
good stuff. And we get ship's faces, and the ship's faces, and the actual ships themselves. Now these ships are pre-colored. Let's get these open. Pre-painted ships, though I have heard people saying that you can reprime them, repaint them if you wish. Zoom in here just a little bit. And engines are an insignia on the side. You are ready to play right out of the box. Very cool. They do come in, it looks like all the ships are coming in two different colors. Some of the smaller ships. Make sure that's on the camera there. Complete with the insignia. You can see that. Alright, there's a lot of ships in here. Now, I'm going to assume that the important pieces aha, are down below. Alright, so let's take this stuff out. So, Fleet Commander Genesis. Uh, new book smell. Good stuff. Oh, let me zoom this back out a little bit for you. <clears throat> Setup, game term, actions. Great artwork. Looks like decent explanations. Turn overview. Artwork in this is very nice. Very well done. Explanation of what the special dice mean, how they work. Battles. Up to four players. I think you can play actually up to six players in this if I have the right expansions. Uh, Asteroids, gravitational fields, the gas clouds, those were the tiles we were looking at. How all those work. Very cool. Scenarios, six, seven scenarios. Turn example in the back to make it easy. Alright, we're going to spend some time with that. Another Genesis book, and I believe this is written in French. So that one's of no use to me. Alright, let's take a look at the... Battle boards themselves. Again, I'd love to give you more detailed instructions on this, but I not played this game before, so I'm very anxious to get into it, to try this out. To the battleship dials. Um, if you were brand new to the game and you were taking this out for the first time, this is what you'd be looking at. You'd be going, I don't know anything about this game. So we will learn as we go uh, so or I will learn as we go and I'll figure it out but this is just an unboxing here's uh, the actual boards themselves very nice very thick cardboard this is good stuff they did a good job on this good quality very impressed so, alright so in an effort of uh, to keep things brief and moving on, we're going to move on to the next box. So that's the actual Genesis main box. Like I said, there's lots of room here to add in the other stuff. But let's go to the next box. I believe the next one was Salvation or Avatar, whichever. Let's crack this open. So, Salvation. So 
The Salvation says add technical ships to your fleet to support your warships. Each of them is fitted with specific systems that you can upset the balance of any battle. It includes two new special squares, Colony and Gamma Storm, two new scenarios as well as campaign generator for four for two to four players. Alright. Let's see what we get in the box here. Alright, salvation rules. Let me start to help keep things neat. Alright, salvation rule book in two different flavors again. So our components, six ships, 12 command board tiles, four double space special squares, introduction including the technical ships, rule book so you can add in to it. Again, boards, same material, it's good, decent thickness. There's a lot of punch boards here in this expansion. Seven. Seven of these. It's a little bit thicker than the others. Yep. Okay. Our four new tiles. Nice artwork. That's really cool. That looks really cool. Again, the new ships that are pre-painted. There's three of these and their appropriate bases. But if you can see that. Get that under the camera there. Sorry, there's a slight delay. But they are pre-painted, so unless you just want to repaint these things, you're pretty much ready to go with this stuff right out of the box, which is really nice. Uh, all right, let's uh, move Salvation out of the way. Let's crack open Avatar. Alright, so the Avatar expansion. Add fearsome class 5 ships to your fleet. These huge ships will be the linchpins of your battle arrays and the main targets of your opponents. Choose one of six favorite com famous commanders presented in Avatar to hit up your fleet. Alright, two new special squares, three new special weapons, and two new scenarios. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, three dice. These look like they're the same dice as the main set. So, like that, always, always use more dice. Uh, more of the punch boards, which are very similar to what we've been seeing with the other pieces. Hey, look, some of it comes pre punched. I'm going to assume these are our. Avatars. Well, you can see the stuff pops out of the pops out pretty easily. So attempt to put these sort of back in place, but not really. Different colors on each side. Okay. Our new tiles. Oh, that looks cool. That's very cool. And rule book.
Very cool. All right, lots of good stuff here. Yeah, let's take a look at the battleships. And these are the biggest ships for the game, I believe, because I have not seen anything bigger yet. But in Avatar, you get one of each, of each color. Again, pre-painted, very nice. Yeah, that's for much more than pre-painted. And, well, I mean, they're spaceships. And I guess you can't just reprime these and paint them again yourself, but... I have a drop fleet commander for that. This is just something I wanted to play right out of the box. So, big ships. All right. All right. So let's move that over there. And let's look at the uh, Kickstarter box, which should have all of that extra stuff that you saw. Now there's also a hardback narrative campaign book which has not come in yet, so that has uh, has not been shipped yet. That is in the works. Oh, all right, that's the kind of goodness comes in this little box here. More tiles. Ooh, that's the artwork that we just saw. Oh, look at that. More of the big ships. Ha <laughs> ha. That's why we do the Kickstarters. More of the big ships that come in Avatar. And more of the little ships that came in uh, Salvation. Very cool. And let's see, what do we got here? Knowledge, weapons, special weapons. And it looks like some new commanders that are Kickstarter exclusive. So, excellent. So, again, same high quality that we've been seeing. The artwork on there. Artwork on this is really well done. Very, very cool. And, again, trying to be quick, I'm going to move on. So I really just wanted to show what was in here, just go through them, allow you to take a look at it, maybe it'll pique your interest, and once I get more information or actually learn how to play the game, you know, we can go a bit further. Alright, this is the uh, Fleet Commander Forge expansion. This is... Add more powerful and sophisticated warships to your fleet using standard warship hulls. The Forge has succeeded in developing new ranges and abilities. Oh. Why so many expansions? You haven't even learned how to play the game. Yes, but it's a Kickstarter, so you get everything. <clears throat> All right, again, looks like this one, they're just taking the existing fleets and boosting them so that they get... Better, badder, nastier. So that's the French one. Let's go to the actual English one. Put ships. And here we go. Strategic Cuser, the Testudo, Phalanx, Sagittarius. Boosting up some of your existing ships. Alright. Cool there. Pirates. Pirates, take command of one of these four minor factions. Build your fleet according to specific rules. Explore new abilities and contest the dom domination of the League of Phoebe or the hegemony of Amicles. Alright, so pirate factions. And, uh, yeah, thanks uh, FedEx for uh, crushing that box. This actually came in three big boxes, and one of them looked like somebody in the warehouse used it to sit on and crushed it. Luckily, it wasn't the base game. That box was perfect. So 
so and this looked to be the only thing that got damaged in there so not bad can't blame uh, the company for that I can blame FedEx for that because it was their fault pirates adds a couple new commanders and some new more new tokens all right and the rule book how to play the pirates the two leaders rebels and the scavengers and this is going to be a blast i'm very anxious to get off get under this one all right and we also had the uh, two player set which did come in a plastic bag which i've just thrown down here Again, more dice. I'm assuming this is to add the additional players to the game. Punch board pieces with the destroyers. And there's four different colors of this. Red, blue, like an orangish yellow, and green. So that's how you'll tell everybody apart. And I haven't seen these before, but... Oh. I'm going to go on a limb and say this is probably how you mark the ships on their stands so you know which faction they belong to, which kind of matches the red, orange. That blue is kind of a gray, and then the green. Alright. Keep that together back in here. And our last bag was our Fleet Commander Fleet Pack. Fetch. <laughs> wow, this is going to be massive space battles. There are a ton of ships here. Let me get that out of the way. Right. More of the same punch boards we've been looking at. Again, more, and this additional came with. Looks like a couple of all the different ships, including more of not the big giant ones, which are here, but more of the big ones that came in the base game. So it's the same, it's just more and more and more. And when it comes to space battles, you can never have enough spaceships so this is going to be great um, so with that that's everything that came with the base game or with the kickstarter guys so again thanks for uh checking us out thanks for going through this with me um, if you have any questions or comments please post them below uh, we are a new channel, but we're trying to get some more content out there, and we do this for fun. There's no money involved in this. We pay for our stuff just like you do. Nobody sends it to us for free. Um, so please take a look. Uh, if you like the channel, please like us, subscribe. Uh, we'll try to get more content out there. Uh, you can also look us up on Facebook at Texas Gamer Geeks. And why? Because we're in Texas and we're geeks. Uh, so till next time... Uh, Thanks, and uh, happy gaming.